check. Check. One, two, three. State your name for camera, please. I'm sorry. My name is Carl Merriweather. And uh, this is my sister, Gina Campbell. Um, her name is, her last name is Campbell because she was married, but then she got divorced. Okay, Carl, and her husband's sorry. name was Carl, too. Carl, that, that's enough of too much information. <laughs> sorry. So, Carl, can you tell us how you became interested in UFOs? Uh, well, to, I mean, to state it as clearly as I can, um, I was visited by one when I was a kid. The skies above Apple Valley were filled with more than just clouds last night. News 6 lines were lighting up with reports of an alleged triangle-shaped UFO. In the Some local residents claim to have seen an unidentified flying object just after sunset last evening, with one young man even claiming to have been visited by what he describes as a sky man. He was, he was tall and skinny. He didn't look human. I, I knew he wasn't a human. He said that he was looking for someone like me. He has been so razor sharp focused, more than I've ever seen him. I guess I just figured he was finally like ready to tell his story. Here's the HGH. I'm telling you, it was really, really loud. I was standing right here and it was like, Zzzz. are you too sure? It was not you. It couldn't have been. We were way over the hill by the beacon. What is it? It's our magnet, or what's left of it. It was propelled somehow. Okay, so what? You really think that aliens did that? I don't know what to think, Gina. All I know is something's going on, and I don't think it's human related. Arthur C. Clarke once said, a sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And I've always liked magic.